We got a response from Nina Turner today. I, I just made a simple statement. I wanted to say more, but I said profits make things cheaper and more abundant. Or your, I guess your reply to her. And she said, we currently have a for-profit healthcare system, yet the number one reason of bankruptcy in this country is medical debt, and we're seeing a shortage in certain prescription drugs. Your hypothesis is wrong, Nathaniel. Nina just told me that my hypothesis was wrong. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. God, I'm so... First, we'll take apart the first phrase there. We currently have a for-profit healthcare system. No, we don't. Well, we have a for-profit system. No, we don't. They make profits. It's mixed, it, yeah. by the way. Well, I, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah. Not all... The, so a lot of your large healthcare institutions are not for-profit. They're non-profit, actually. Mm -hmm. So like uh, St. Thomas... Huge hospital system across the United States. There's other Catholic hospitals. The Mayo Clinic, Vanderbilt, a mm. bunch of major institutions. All your uh, Most of your college um, university medical centers are all nonprofit. There's a, there are some for-profit corporations out there, absolutely. But the, to, to generalize the healthcare system as just a for-profit system is wrong, actually. It's also important to note that while a lot of them it's also are not free market, there's that while a lot of them are for profit uh, systems and corporations, they exist in a essentially government run healthcare system, and they do not exist in a free market healthcare system. So she could be right that having for profit healthcare corporations in a government run system, for example, we have. We have companies that make our bombs and they make our planes and our ships. Here's some, the military industrial complex. I want to get some numbers for you. They so. charge a ton of money for the things that they make and they are for-profit companies, but those are essentially government apparatus, ap apparati. Here's some numbers for you from UCF.edu. 60% um, of community hospitals are nonprofit. All community health centers are nonprofit. Almost 30% of nursing homes are nonprofit, and about 17% of home health care agencies are estimated to be nonprofit. So, 60% of community hospitals. That's a lot. That's a pretty good profit. amount. 60% no. of community hospitals. The exec, their executive teams still make. Oh yeah, a lot of money. You know, that's but, of course they do. But it's nonprofit. They're not seeking a profit. That's just the salary that they need mm -hmm. to be able to work in a nonprofit. All right, so we're talking numbers here for a second. Take a look at this. Maybe this is part of it, Nina. And we talk about why healthcare is so expensive and we have a for-profit system. Let's look at 1970, uh, the share of national health expenditures. So people spending money on healthcare. In 1970, 32.7% of the health expenditures were out of pocket. 32.7. In 2021, that's down to 10.2%. Okay. Private health insurance was 20.4% in 1970. In 2021, that went up to 28.5%. Here's the shocking one. Public health insurance. So Medicaid and Medicare, essentially, with along with some others, Veterans Affairs, stuff like that. 22% in 1970, and it's up to 42.5% now. And then other, which I don't know exactly what it could be. It says uh, Indian Health Service and other state and local programs. Okay. So still public. <laughs> still public. <laughs> so, okay. So the private share, we can do some quick math, in 1970 was 53.1% of private including health insurance, the private share. And in 2021, that was, what did I say, 52.1%, 53.1%. 53.1, yep. In 2021, it's down to 38.7%. And that massive jump from pu public health insurance, 22 up to 42.5. Almost doubled. Now that's government payer for the health care. And what do we know about the cost of something when the government is paying for it. Does it go down, Nina? Can name me one thing that the, the true cost, not what someone pays at the register, name me one thing 
that the government pays for that the cost goes down? Someone, anyone in the live group? I mean, your coronavirus vaccine was free. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Completely free. Yeah. No money exchanged mm -hmm. for that thing. So maybe there's another reason other than the fact that it's for profit. And I bet you, I, I bet you, you could look at the number, the profits, like the total amount of profits that came from those companies. And I bet you it barely makes a dent in the national health expenditures. You know, just like a, it's going to be a very small, even if it's 8%, which I know health, health insurance companies get about 3 to 4% profit. Now, healthcare corporation, the hospital corporation, stuff like that, I don't know what they might be at. Say it's 8%, even if it's 10% of the money. If you remove that profit incentive, I guarantee you that the actual amount of money that is paid will go up. And that sounded like a Cajun guarantee. So. Guarantee you. Yeah. Oh, speaking and of. You, so you know it's <clears throat> real. You know it's a real guarantee. Speaking of, as the Get public the, the public health expenditures f were 22% in 1970, now up to 42.5% in 2021, let's look at the national health expenditures cost from 1970 up to 2021. That's weird. Yeah. That's another weird one right there. Huh. Um, inflation. Oh, it's going up. Constant $2021 uh, puts it around $400 up to 4000 something from 1970 up to 2021. 